and welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley and today we're going to be doing my November BoxyCharm unboxing. Um, so I'm really excited. This is the first month that they are doing the new $25 box and it's supposed to be over $125 value. And it's, this, what is this called? The Stellar. So if you want to see what I got in my BoxyCharm and try some items on with me, then keep on watching. Okay, so... I'm trying to make my BoxyCharm videos a little bit shorter because you guys know I go through all the items and then I try them on so you can see how they perform too. Um, I'm still going to do that but we're going to do the unboxing first and then we're going to do the try on after. So if you just want to see the unboxing, it shouldn't be long and then if you want to stay and see how they perform, you can stay and watch. Um, so hopefully it's a little better. I keep reading to say this but in every single video, if you don't like how long my videos are, which I know they're long, I'm so sorry I'm working on that. You can speed them up so I talk super, super fast and it makes the video not as long. Um, please try to do that um, if I if my videos are too long for you. Um, that's all I have to say about that, though. Oof, sorry. And I think let's just go ahead and get started. Um, so I do already know what's in the box. That's why I have foundation on and brows on. And that's it. Um, then you'll see why in a second. So let's just do our unboxing. Let's, let's start. So we got the bigger box this month. Um, the first, ooh, just the first thing. This is the little pamphlet that they give us. The first thing is the Kristen Dominique Celestial Thunder Palette. This is what it looks like. Very pretty. Oops, the little safety thing fell out. These are the shades. You get a nice mirror in there. This color is like speaking to me. It is calling my name. Um, right when I opened this palette, that was the first thing I was most excited about is the shade right here. Um, and that is Eternal Lights, Fireball, excuse me, Black Matter, what is this, sorry I can't see, Zero Gravity, oh, Lucid Dreams, Storm Dust, Lunar Eclipse, and Mystic Ice. So eight pans, I literally just counted, yes. And that retails for $35. I did watch other videos of people saying this was like cheap packaging and cheap quality. I don't agree. I think um, it's nice quality like cardboard. Um, and I, I like the packaging. So not too bad. So $35 and I'm so excited. The next thing I got is this stem sailor anti-wrinkle eye treatment from juice beauty this is the box it came in um and then this is what it looks like um so you just have like a little thing you and i have used this before um i used it because i can't show you in a video i didn't want to make it long so i used this last night so kind of first impressions um and it's not whatever i'll just tell you it right now um it's nice it's interesting I don't really like this I kind of just I would prefer to just like it on and then rub it with my fingers but it felt really good and I will continue using it um so there one less review you have to wait for and this retails for $50 holy crap okay so the next thing we're getting is this dose of colors lipstick in date nights um, let me open it. This retails for $18. So that's what it looks like. It's like um, a pretty bright red shade. Oof. Um, yeah, $18. All right. What am I missing here? Oh, and then we have... I don't know what I did with the box. But this did come with a little packaging. I lost it. Um, I did use this to apply my foundation already. This is the Illuminati Cosmetic Sponge. It's $21, so it's $1 more than the Beauty Blender. Um, so this is wet. It's wetted. Look at it compared to my hand. It's pretty big. This is really like my Morphe sponge. Um, but I did, use to, <laughs> I did use this to apply foundation so you can see something already applied and then watch me apply something else with it um, just so this video wasn't too long so this is $21 and then the last thing is this milk makeup holographic highlighter and this retails for $28 this is in the shade supernova this is what it looks like 
just like, oops, well, that fell too. Um, just like a highlight, a holographic highlight. Yeah. Mm, okay, so that's all I got. Oh, and I forgot this thing. Great little here skis. I also got the pretty vulgar, pretty vulgar. Oh my God, you guys. Wow. Pretty vulgar undercover lightweight concealer. Little sample packet. This is for the complexion um, quiz thing that you're going to fill out so you can start getting concealers and foundations. Um, so I am going to try this today. I think I'm going to be fair the little white lies. But on the back here, so if you get this, read the back. If little white lies is too much, there's a veil of secrecy, which is light. It's in between the fair and light to medium, which is what's on here. So if this works, but it's just not too light, I'll do fair. Or not fair, I'll do light. So just a little heads up info, dilly dally. Um, but yeah, so now that's everything I got in my box. So let's add her up. And after we add her up, I'll start the try on process. And then I'll kind of talk to you about my thoughts. Um, so... Dominique was 35, stem cell was 50, dose of colors is 18, the sponge is 21, and the milk makeup is 28 with a value of $152 this box is. Wow, okay, well that's that's okay. It's um, more than what they said. They said it's going to be 125, so it's more, which is nice. Um, so I'm just going to start doing my makeup now. So we're just going to go in with this concealer. I'm going to use White Little Lies. Um, so that's nice that it's at least more. But this is probably not going to lie the most disappointing box I've ever had from BoxyCharm. Yep, I said it. The most disappointing box. Um... These spoilers looked awesome, and I was really, really excited. And then when I got my box, I got a fucking sponge and a milk highlighter. No! I feel like it's just very random and thrown in there, if that makes sense. Um, sorry, I'm just now getting the concealer open. So, yeah, I'm, I like the palette. And that's the other thing. In my profile, I don't I don't wear red lipstick. Um, I have I own one in my whole collection, and it's just because I don't wear it because I don't like it. I like nudes. I'm a nude girl, and so I feel a little irritated that I got a lipstick that I'm probably you know not gonna wear. I mean, I'm gonna try it, and maybe maybe you know I feel like I'm being too harsh. Maybe I'm gonna try it and maybe I'm gonna absolutely love it. I have way too much concealer on that side of my face. Ooh, this is thick. <laughs> I just did way, way, way too much over here. Hello, Bentley. Sorry, my dog's literally right underneath my feet. Okay, so this is a concealer. I'm just gonna wipe some on the sponge, whatever. And this is the sponge. It's already wetted. Um, I did my foundation with it. And I actually feel like I lost coverage. I was spraying it with the Mario Badesco spray. I used my favorite foundation in the whole entire world, which is that um, Born to Glow from NYX. I love it. It's the best foundation literally I've ever tried in my life. Um, and then for primer, I used the Bobbi Brown Vitamin uh, Primer. And then I mix it with the Maybelline, like the green one, that's for redness and then blurring. And so that's what I have on for Um, so sorry, I'm like trying to blend and talk and thinking if it's not working. What am I thinking? Oh, that's what I'm wearing for primer. Sorry, goodness gracious. So I just got off work. It's 1146 at night. <laughs> Um, I've had a long, tough day at work, so that's why I was like, you know what? I've been dying, dying to do my boxy charm and open it and play with what I got. So I figure, what better way to like kind of wind down from a crappy day than come home and play with play with some makeup? I add a little bit more on my forehead over here. Oops, too much. And over here, just like a smidge. 
You know what? Since I'm literally going to wash this off the second I'm done, I'm just going to put it and see how well it will cover. I'm looking at it. You know what? Fair actually might work for me. I actually don't mind this. I was thinking maybe I should do light. But... I don't know. Fair looks actually really good. I'm going to get a little... When I do my complexion thing, I'll stick with. Fair. Wow. My concealer's crazy. Huh. Um, so I kind of just had like a little thought... Maybe I should use these and like do a little cream contour or bronzer type thing. I think this might be too dark, but I figured I'd try it anyways. I've never done it before. Um, I really like the concealer though. That's like some nice concealer. Oops, I forgot to put that on my forehead. Loady load. Okay, so here it is. I like it. I really like that concealer. I do not like this sponge, though. I do not think I like this sponge. It's a little too hard for my likings. Um, I just prefer my Morphe one, and it's literally way freaking cheaper than this one. So, if you were kind of wondering about it and maybe we're going to go buy it, I'd say skip it. And if you really want, like, something luxury high-end, go get the freaking Beauty Blender. It's a dollar cheaper and probably better than this. I've never used a beauty blender because I really like my Morphe sponge. <laughs> okay, so I just opened the dark one. <sighs> what shade is it even? Is the darkest one. Midnight Mystic Rich. Ooh, I'm scared. Oh my god, I get so much. Ah! Okay, that's all I'm going to do. That's it. It does suck up a lot of product too. Ready, ready. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so scared, you guys. <gasps> it's too dark. I was hoping it would like blend out to like not this dark. Oh. I look like I have shit on my face. Oh, okay. It's actually not that bad. I overreacted. I got scared and I overreacted. Per usual. And I blended it too high. Whatever. Uh, yeah, that's actually not bad, too bad for me. See, look. Look at how that product just hooked up. I don't know. I don't think I like it. Ah, a little bit of this concealer goes a really long way. I'm going to wipe it on here again because I'm lazy. I forgot to make a wipe again. I'm just going to blend. I've never done like a cream bronzer contour or whatever before. This is like my first time. I've really been wanting to try it though. So why not try it with the concealer that was sent to me? Not too bad. That actually blended out really nicely. I don't I don't hate that at all. I mean I personally did a terrible job doing it, but the formula itself is really nice. Sorry, I'm just gonna throw my hair back it's getting in my face um hmm you know what as if I haven't done enough damage already I'm gonna do a little bit more my baby hairs are getting out of control I don't know what to do about them because I've heard like shaving your baby hairs is actually not good and like don't do it I don't know what to do about it. So if you guys know what to do with unruly baby hair, let a girl know. <sighs> so yeah, like I said, it's been a long day. And just like, I didn't work this morning, thankfully, but yeah, this isn't the right color for me. So don't come at me saying this is the wrong color. I know, I just wanted to try it. Get some get some use out of the concealer that I was sent to sent. Um, but anyways, like I was saying, yeah, I just had like a really challenging day today. Like it just, work was just a disaster. My jet was almost late because honestly, I don't even know. It shouldn't have been because everything was like going so smooth. 
So yeah, I don't know. We literally got it right down to the wire. I've never contoured my nose either, so I know. Great, great time to try, right, Riley? SOS. Send help. Um, so yeah, that really, really made me mad because I had to call GOC and the GOC lady saying it was, um, her name's Kara. Oh, I just fucked my shit up. Sorry, excuse my language. Um, did, did a really bad job. Okay, I have to go back in with this other concealer. I should just be done with this. I've ruined my face. Now no one can take me seriously because I have brown all over. Anyways, I had to call Kara, the GLC lady, and she's not the nicest, and I hate calling her. So, I mean, yeah, that always puts me in, like, kind of a crappy mood. Um, but I'm literally in the office one day a week. Like, literally one day a week. And people are just being buttheads today. Sorry, I'm literally just trying to fix what I screwed up. This is so terrible. I should have never done that. I don't know why I did. I don't know what I was thinking. That concealer, though, is really nice. Like, I really, really like it. I really hope I get this concealer. So, how about we just quit? Let's just stop while we're somewhat ahead, but not really ahead. Because I screwed it up. Alrighty. Sorry, I'm getting uncomfortable. Okay, so let's just set the face. Let's set the face. We're going to use the um, Fail Translucent Setting Powder from Hourglass to set the face. Um, I have found that using this powder with a brush and moisturizing really well before doing my makeup, um, I can actually use this powder again. It won't dry my skin out and make it look terrible. So that's exciting because it was like $52. It was expensive, but I really like it. It does like a lot of nice things to the face. Yeah, I really like that concealer. That concealer is crazy good. Like it's blurring my face everywhere I put it. Like it's crazy. After I'm done powdering, I'll zoom you guys in. Well, I won't zoom you in, I'll zoom in to you. My forehead's really nice and tan. <laughs> Won't have to do much bronzing since I did uh, a lot of it with that concealer. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna set the face. Really, really quick. Hi, Miss Bill. So Justin's at the farm. He left tonight after work um, before I got off. And he took our black cat Bo with him. <laughs> so I just have Bentley and Miss Bell. Because he took both of her. I thought it was kind of funny. Oh my gosh. I am in love with this concealer. If we don't get it in January, I'm going to go buy it myself. Because I actually think this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Look at my under eyes. My skin looks amazing. And it's from that concealer. Um, this thing won't close. What is going on? There we go. Sorry. Issues. Um, so let's go ahead and just bronze a little freaking bit since we went a little crazy with the Tarte palette. The same one I always use. So, yeah, um, today I did use a different eyebrow. I used the Anastasia dip brow. I haven't used it in a while, and I just wanted to hurry up and slap some brows on so I could film. So I just used that. So that's why I'm wearing my brows. And if you're like, wow, your brows are worse than usual. Yeah, that's why. Just bronzing up a little bit more with some powder. So, how was your guys' week? Are you ready for the weekend? I'm not going to do under there because literally I'm just going to take this right off. I just want to try it out on camera for you guys. Okay. 
we're bronzed, we're set, we're gorgeous, kind of, we're good to go, kind of. So let's just put on this milk makeup thing. I'll swatch it. That's what it looks like. I mean, it's pretty. I just don't think I'm ever gonna wear it, is the problem. So I'm just picking it up. Like, I don't like colored highlights. I just don't. It's not my personal preference. It's not what like I enjoy. It's beautiful. I just don't think I'm gonna wear it. Ooh, actually. Can you even see it? Ew. It's like oil. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like the feeling of this at all. Like, I wish you could just feel it. It's like a, um, a sticky ass oil. See, what the heck? I don't like it. I don't like this at all, actually. This is a hard, hard pass. I hate this. Yeah, I hate it. I, the shade's pretty, it's not pretty to wear. It, I hate the feeling of it. I don't like this. This is 100% not worth $28 in my opinion. I hate that. Like, seriously, let's let's just do this. Let's try this. Okay, this is a good highlight. This is the Fenty Sandcastle highlight. Beautiful, right? I know. Um, this is what a highlight should look like. <laughs> I'm putting it over that, but it's because I hate it. See, that is a highlight and it's not oil it doesn't feel like oil sorry I just hate that and I'm so mad I got it my boxy charm so mad I'll get over it obviously but yeah it's not what I wanted I don't know uh, hard pass but see that's what a really nice highlight should look like this is killer. So if you're thinking about getting that, don't. Get this, this is just as good. It's better actually, in my opinion. Okay, so moving on, let's just go ahead and try the Celestial Thunder palette from Dominique Cosmetics. I'm really excited about this. This is what's gonna turn the whole box around for me. I just know it. So let me just find a brush. Actually, I'm gonna set the face really quick. I forgot about how terrible this is. The squirter is so weird. I don't even know. I just want to use it because I got it in a boxy charm. We're doing a boxy charm video and I'm trying to use it because I got it. Like, I think it's nice ish. Like, I've used a little bit. Um, dang it, the freaking squirter gets me every time. Sorry, I'm just like in a weird mood today, obviously. I don't mean to be. Sorry. I'll uh, tone down a little bit, eh? Okay, so just let me find the brush. Here it is. No, it's not. Let's use this one. We're gonna use the Morphe 441. I just wanna make sure my eyelids are dry. Before I just go slant and stuff on. Um, let's use Lunar Eclipse right here first, and we'll just put it in the crease. I kinda have an idea. Um, a little bit of kick up too, not pigmented. I kinda have a look in mind that I want to do. Um, you know, whether I can achieve it or not, we'll find out. Oh, wow. I just want to say I'm like eyeing how blurred my face is from that concealer, but except the highlight. The highlight's like, you can't put Fenty over a shitty highlight. It's, it was like oil. Um, and that's why I just, I don't know, I don't like it. I'm definitely never going to use that again. Um, if my sister or my, any friends, whatever, don't want to, it's, I'll donate it or something, but I hate it. That was terrible. This shadow is pretty. It's a really nice transition shade. Am 
my lips and my eyes probably will not be matching today. But that's all right. Okay, so that is the Lunar Eclipse. Kind of as a transition shade. Really pretty. I like that shade a lot. Let's go in with... Uh, I don't want something so fanned out. Let's go in with this Luxie 207 brush and let's go into Storm Dust. Uh, right, not a lot of kick up. It's like not a lot at all compared. Whoa. Oops. I'm throwing this kind of in the crease and in the outer corner. You know what, I had like a total look in mind, but let's just use every single shade in the palette, or at least try to. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. We'll see how much I want to. Wow, that shadow though. That shadow's beautiful. That was storm dust again. Dang. That's crazy. It's so pigmented, but so blendable. I love it. I love that shade. We'll blend out the edges in a minute. Next, let's use this. I don't even know, but let's use Zero Gravity, like a grayish color. Let's just put it like right against the lash line. Oh, not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. I just wanted to try it like that before I put like a shimmer down. Actually, not bad. I do not hate that. Do not hate that one bit. That actually, I really like that. Okay, sweet. Um, let's just go in with Eternal Light. Ooh, I haven't touched one. Oh, that was a little underwhelming. Whoa, just kidding. Okay, so it doesn't swatch well. It feels kind of dry, but when you put it on the lid, it's like, hello, we're gorgeous. Ooh, I really like this shade, okay. Wow. This would be beautiful in the inner corner too. Like, it's blinding. Holy crap. I am getting a little fallout with it. I keep seeing my highlight in the mirror and it's making me so mad. <laughs> okay. So literally, you guys know every single time I said I don't have a makeup wipe, there's been napkins right there. Way to go, Riley. So let's go ahead and go in with Fireball. Ooh, see this one's a lot creamier. Let's just put Fireball right here in the middle. Whoa. Look at Fireball. Miss Bell. Sorry, my cat's being bad. Like I said, I just want to play with as many colors as possible. Holy crap. Fireball's beautiful. Um, let's just swatch Black Matter. Me. Ooh. Oops, I'm not flipping you off, I swear. Oh, that's a nice shade. I'm probably not gonna use it today, but that is a really nice shade. Holy smokes. Okay, whoa, that's crazy. Let's just take this and blend out the edges. Little bits, little bits. Sorry this video is so long. Eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow looks take me forever. Dang. 
like this look. You know what, just for shits and giggles, let's take this blue shade, the Mystic Ice, with a Luxie 243, whoa, and run it on our, right down here. Literally just for shits and giggles. I am trying to blend it because it looks kind of much. A little much. Um, we'll do the same thing on the other eye. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. I really like that blue shadow. Well, I use it probably not, but I'm gonna try. What is that good with super colorful eyeshadows like blue? Blues and greens, they scare me. So, you know, let's just go in with Lucid Dream, same brush, whatever, we're here. Let's use that to kind of tone down the blue, maybe. Or add a little bit and see what it does. We're going real crazy tonight, girl. Cotton candy pink. Just gonna raccoon it with the pink. We're already here. We might as well. I might be Oh my lord, I am just having not a good makeup day. I think it's because I'm tired. I just wanted to come here and just do some good things. <laughs> Let's call it. Let's just call it with that. Let's put on some mascara and finish with the lips. Oh my lord, you guys. Thanks for putting up with me. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those two shadows were really nice, though. So the only shadow I didn't use was that Black Matter that I swatched for you. Um, the lower lash line I, I don't like. It's terrible. Um, I didn't blend it very good. I didn't do a good job. Nothing against the shadows. But the top part I really do like. It's really pretty. This is such a long video. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. We are about ready to wrap up, I swear. Oh, sorry, I'm using the Tarte Big Ego Mascara, too. So, without the lower lash line, I really like it. With the lower, not so much. Not the palette's fault, my fault, because I suck at makeup. Okay, let's use the Steve Laurent Lip Liner in my lips. It's like a berry shade. Just kind of like draw it in a little bit. Okay. Our lips are lined. Now let's go in with date night. That's really red. Hmm. I've never tried a dose of colors lipstick before. Woo! We are a hot mess tonight. Our <laughs> lipstick. Mm. Um. Yep. This is date night. It is a really pretty red. I'll give it that. Um, I just don't know how to wear makeup apparently, or apply lipstick. 
Um, it's really red. It really scares me. I'm scared it's going to be all over my teeth. It's drying down nicely. I literally missed a whole fucking part of my lip. Sorry for cussing so much in this video. Not even remotely better because I went way over my lips. Whatever. We're going to call it. This is drying down to a mat. Really comfortable. Not drying my lips out yet. This is all for my BoxyCharm. This is a terrible look. I look like a clown. I'm so sorry if you actually watch this video. I'll tell you my monthly favorites, what I thought about the rest of it at a later date and time when I'm not looking like this. So, if you stayed this late, thank you. If you are dying laughing, you're welcome. Have a great weekend, you guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.